So one of the big questions we get all the time after a knee surgery, whether it's a knee replacement surgery or some other form of knee surgery is questions about elevation. If I've got a lot of swelling down into the leg, the ankle, sitting in a recliner like this would not be considered effective elevation to reduce the swelling. Even if I'm completely reclined back, that's still not an elevated position. When you look at the clinical research on elevation, we need the hip joint to be about 30 degrees, 45 degrees, or even 90 degrees to effectively reduce any of the swelling that's happening in the ankle and the lower leg. So let me show you how to position for elevation laying down in bed. We're gonna pretend this is a bed. We're gonna set up the problem with this kind of wedge pillow, especially after a knee replacement, is that it keeps the knee flexed, which might be comfortable, but it's not ideal for increasing the extension of the knee, plus it's still too low. So what we need to do is we can use a cushion like this as a base, but then we need to build the height up so that when I do position the leg, it's at about 90 degrees, 45 degrees, or at least 30 degrees. And what I mean by that is, let's pretend that it's my left leg that had the knee replacement. I set the pillows up so that there's no contact under the upper thigh, back of the knee. You can see that the leg is relatively straight, but when I'm laying down in bed or on a couch, from my torso to where my hip is, this should be a minimum of 30 degrees. Ideally, it would be even a little bit higher at 45 degrees. So in this case, I would either try to bring this in a little bit closer or try to provide some more pillows for height. In an ideal situation, it could be as high as 60 or 70 degrees. And again, that's gonna allow gravity to pull that fluid down. The problem is this is usually not a very comfortable position. So just maintaining this 30 to 45 degrees of hip flexion while laying in bed. Certainly from here, you can do your, your ankle pumps and anything else you need to do. Um, one other thing you can add and you can keep recording. I'm just gonna grab this. If you have the ability with a rolling pin, and it could be a wooden rolling pin, this one's metal, it could be marble, whatever you have, you can apply pressure from just, here's my kneecap, from above the knee up toward the hip, just to help, again, some of that fluid moving out of the lower leg back into the circulatory system. So I work the inside, I work the top side, I work the outside, I do maybe a minute or so of swiping up toward the heart like that to facilitate that fluid exchange. And then I just relax. I can put this down by my side. I can do two or three episodes of this throughout the day. This is one of the best ways to truly elevate the leg to reduce the swelling in the lower leg. Thanks for watching.